Hi, have you ever wondered if there is a difference between the Iru, Dawadawa, Ogirisi, Ogiri, and all that? If you have and you're still confused as to what the difference is and the similarities are, then this video is for you. Stay tuned. Welcome. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing good. In today's video, I'll be showing you the different um, types of fermented um, condiments that we use in Nigeria and Africa as a whole. A disclaimer before I continue, I'm in no way an expert in this field. However, I've just been like you whereby I've been wondering what is the difference between all this Iru, Ogiri, Ogirisi, Dadawa and all that. And I asked my mom one day because I'm from the southeast part of Nigeria, Delta State and the Igbo speaking part. And usually when she tells you to go bring Ogiri, it's different from when she tells you to go bring Ogirisi. And it's actually different from when she says you should just go and bring Dawa Dawa or Ogiri Okwe. So I asked her and I said, Mom, what's the difference between all this? And her response was, well, they are all the same. They do the same function. I kept on going. But I've gotten a lot of questions from my recipe video, How to Make Egusi Soup, whereby I used Dawa Dawa. And people have been asking me, what is Dawa Dawa? And I had responded in the same way my mom had responded to me as to, oh, don't worry, Iru, Dawa Dawa, and all that, they are all the same. It's just the process is different. But I kept telling myself, because my curious mind kept asking myself, there must be a difference between all this. And so I decided to do some research as to it. So I have on here the different kind of, you know, fermented um, food condiments that you have in Africa. It's a lot on my table, but this is not the exhaustive list of what you have. You will see me going back and looking into my book once in a while because I don't want to miss any point from the research that I've done. So let's dive into this condiment. So for me, from my research that I've done, I found out that they are all fermented oil seed and they have similarities and they have differences. For instance, the Yoruba people call their locust beans iru and still in this Yoruba tribe they differentiate it between iru bete and iru woro whereby there are two forms of iru right there. The Awusas on their own call it dadawa or dawa dawa I don't know which one is the correct one. If you're an Awusas and you know the correct name to it, just let me know in the comment section below. Whereas the eastern part of Nigeria, the Igbos call it Ogiri, Ogiri Ope, Ogiri Se, and all that. So you have them differently. Now, it has been said that our forefathers or our foremothers, before the birth of even uh, Maggi and all this, this was part of the major thing that they used in adding flavor and aroma to the food. Boy, the aroma is killing, <laughs> let me not lie. Like, hmm, my hand is smelling that I used to dish out all of them. I don't know what I'm going to use, but back to the topic. So, however, you will look at them and be like, oh, Iru is the same thing as Dawa Dawa. Dawa Dawa is the same thing as Zogris. But my dear, I found out something during my research. They actually have some differences and they have some similarities. Let me first dive into what the differences are. Let me go into the similarities first. One of the very key to the similarities is that they are all fermented. Their process is actually, it looks the same because you have to get the seed, you have to de and then you have to cook, and then you have to take out the seed from the, from the, from the, you have to take out the seed from the, not itself 
and then you now have to ferment it for some days so they all go through similar process however there are some differences let me see let me just tell you one of the differences that for instance this is ogirisi from where i come from delta part of nigeria and this ogirisi is actually different from this which is ogiribu they are both different the smell is different their colors looks different even just looking at them different and this is iru this is also iru now i'm a little bit confused because i don't know if this is the iru better or if this is the iru guru but all i know is that they both smell differently so i don't know which one is iru better and which one is iru guru in this two if you know do let me know in the description in the comment section below again another difference that you have in them is that the kind of seed that is used for them is different for instance the seed used for this iru is locust beans seed i'll show you a picture of it right here however the seed used for this ogiri seed is different from the seed used for this ogiri um, ogiribo now i asked my mom what is this seed called she cannot remember the name of the seed but she said anytime you go to the to the market to buy the seed that is used to make what you ask them is that you want um, you want um ogirisi seed unkulu ogirisi unkulu is seed in my language so what you usually ask them is you want um ogiris unkulu ogirisi so she also let me in on a secret that ogiri also can be made from egusi seed if it's made from the egusi seed according to my mom it is well known to be made in the abo Agbo tribe or the Abo people, they are also in Delta. They are the ones that use the Egusi seed to make their own Ogiri. This one is totally different from that. The smell is different, the taste is different, and all that. So, Iru definitely is very popular with the Yorubas. You know, very, very popular with the Yorubas. That's what they use for their Efori roll. They use for their, you know, soup. They even use it in um, a way do. From my research, and I'll be leaving a link of a video that is very comprehensive to my own understanding of this iru, these two. So from that, you know that iru woro, according to that video, is usually very preferable in a furry roll and um, some other soup. However, iru pete is preferred in a way to soup so now let's move on to the other type these two used to be another type that confuses me because you have this this is the dawa dawa before it was blended when you blend this what you will have is this this is this from this kind of has this brownish color to it so that is dawa dawa that we the delta Ibos call this is how it looks if you look very closely to it it actually looks like this iru so it is safe for me to say that this dawa dawa is the same is gotten from the same locust beans as this iru so that is for that and then you have this ogiri okwe this is what we call okwe ogiri okwe in my culture and you have it when it's blended it's like this when you look at Ogiri Okwe versus Dawa Dawa, what you see is that even when it's blended, it's still a little bit chunky. So that is another difference that you would see. What again is another thing that I found from my research, I would like to read this from my Johnson, is that the oil seed that is used, like I said, varies in all these uh, condiments. For instance, you have that Eguri, Oguri Egusi is from melon seed, which is Egusi seed, and the Abon is who are known to prefer to, to do this. 
However, the locust beans is a room. And then the castor oil seed, which is what I'm thinking is this, is the ogiri ibo. And you have the sesame seed also is used. And in that, they call it the Ope Nsuka. I've never seen that before. So if you have a picture of that or you're from Nsuka, you can send me that picture in my email. It will be on the screen. So you have also the Ope, Ope. Now, don't get it twisted. Ope is different from Ope because this Ope is gotten from something similar to this Dawa da or I, I, I'm not so certain so I will need someone to help me out in determining what this is gotten from from my own guess I'm thinking it's from this that, that as well the only difference is that by the time they finish fermenting it they put it into these lumps and then dry it the same way they put this iru into this flat seed flat and uh, digs and dry it to form the dada da is the same way I, I feel it's what it did with this one so that is there about what i have as to the the difference ogiri so to recap iru dawa dawa and some form of ogiri is the same when it's gotten from locals being said however Ogiribo is gotten from castor oil seed. Ogiri egusi is gotten from melon seed. Now it's not the same thing as watermelon. It's 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 a it's it's from that species, but the difference is that inside the melon where this egusi is gotten from, it's they don't have that reddish um, flesh that your regular watermelon has. And it's not sweet so don't even try to to eat it you can't eat it just the same way you eat the regular watermelon and to differentiate it one thing they use in differentiating is that they, they describe it as the wild watermelon so that is from where you have the ogiri egusi now when you have the okwehe usoka which i don't have on my table today that is gotten from the sesame um, seed and then you now have the regular okwehe, which is gotten from this, um, they call it the African misquit um, seed. So that is about what they are. Now, all these condiments taste differently in soups and stew. It to me, I feel it depends on your personal preference. For instance, I love to use ogirisi in my um, bitter leaf soup, ofonubu. I love to use it in my aku soup and sometimes in short i love to use it in so many recipes too like my okra soup which will be coming up shortly my okra soup my um ofio nubu ofiaku and um and um whatever that one am i am i leaving out yeah i, I often sala i love to use ogirisi for it where I, I love to use ogiri okwe in draw soup also maybe ogbono okra soup i love to use okwe dadawa on its own i love to use dadawa in um egusi in um vegetable soup made in the Igbo way not the regular eforu the vegetable soup i love to use uh, um dadawa and then iru, of course, if I want to cook a for iru, I have to use iru. I have to pay respect to where the soup comes from. And also, a father, a father rice sauce is this iru. Ogiri ibo, I, I really don't use it in my, in, my, in my kitchen. I got this specifically for this video to be able to show you guys that there's a difference between ogiri ibo and ogiri si, which is from delta states where i come from the Igbo speaking part of delta state i hope these few things is going to help you to differentiate between them and you'll be able to tell yourself okay you've learned one or two things from this video but before i go let us do a little exercise i don't want you to i want you to you know say this answer to yourself to these questions that i'm going to ask you 
and at the end you find out if you got them so my question number one is is iru dawadawa ogirisi and ogirigo the same in terms of what is used to prepare them the second question is what is the name of the seed that is used to prepare iru my third question is what is the name of the seed that is used to prepare ogiribo? And what is the name of the seed that is used to prepare ogiri egusi? Now, I will show you the answers on this boy. If you got it right, clap for you. So I hope this video has been able to answer some questions that you have as regards to what is dawa dawa, what is this, in case you see me using it in my recipes. And I hope that if you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section below. And if you have any other addition to what I already said, you can let me know in the comment section below. Until next time, bye.